Morning you guys, it's Karen. Um, I thought I would come and do an updated video of one I did in 2016. It's one on how to stop watery eyes and I talked about some eye drops that I used that I had found to be the only ones that would stop the watering of my eyes. Um, and it's still popular now, you know, it's seven years old and I still get com comments on it from people saying they've tried everything but now they've tried these drops, it's worked for them. So I thought I'd come and remind you of the drops but also tell you some other things that I found affected my eyes watering or not because if you if you have watery eyes you'll know how frustrating it is especially if you're a makeup wearer because like today say I've got this makeup on and I went out and if my eyes were watering it would normally be one that would be the worst normally my right one and it just would take all of the makeup off the corner of my eye almost to the middle and it would just look ridiculous you know there'd be a big gap in my makeup but not only that, from your eyes constantly watering and you're sort of touching them like this, the skin would get really red raw at the corners, you know. So I'm delighted to have, I've got this eye drops that I use if my eyes do water and I've also got things to prevent them watering. So I wanted to do a bit of an expanded video, I suppose, and just tell you the other things that I know can cause my eyes to water. You might be able to try it and hopefully it will solve your problem. Um, my husband has watery eyes as well, but he wears contact lenses in this eye. These eye drops can't be used while you have your contact lenses in. That's the only downside. Um, okay, so first I'm going to tell you about things that you could try to prevent your eyes watering, because obviously that's better. I haven't actually had watery eyes for a couple of years. I haven't even needed to use these drops until this year. Um, and it was because of a particular product I used. Um, but one of the first things I stopped using and found that it helped was oil products. Um, so I used to use, I think it was back when I was using the Clarins oil. So I used to use an oil on my face um, at night and I would notice that when I used an oil on my face, especially if I got it anywhere near this area, I didn't ever put it over my eyes or even this far. I would put it about to here, you know, about to where that hollow is. And it obviously would travel to, to my eyes and by the next morning my eyes would be a bit watery. So that's something you can think about if you've got any oils in your skincare. Um, the other thing, and this is a big one, this is fragrance. So I haven't used fragrance or I've barely used fragrance in my skincare for many years. But as I will have said in the number seven video, I got the day cream and it had fragrance in it. And almost immediately my eyes started watering and I was like, I bet it's that fragrance. And so I stopped using it and then a few days later my eyes start watering. It takes a minute to get rid of the effect if you like um, and whilst they were watering I was using these eye drops and that would stop it you know so it was it was great in that respect but fragrance is definitely one that if you're using any fragrance in your skincare and I'm not talking about eye cream I mean unbelievably some eye creams do come with fragrance but I'm talking about skincare so just your face cream and like I said I would put it on to about here but it obviously travels to the eye area so if you can avoid fragrance that may be something else that stops um, your eyes watering. And the final one, other than these drops, is um, red, red, pink, purple eyeshadow. It's not so much pink, because I've got pink on today, and it's I've got a little bit of purple on as well, but I can feel the right of my eye sort of threatening to water, if that makes sense. But purple is a color, purple and red are colors and pigments that can cause allergies. Um, actually, it's the same in hair dye, and I, I did. I was allergic to. I used to dye my hair red. You may remember, but many years ago, I did it, and I woke up the next day, and I had like all grains of sand under my skin. It was horrible. That's what it felt like. There was grains of sand under my skin. But I do know that if I use a really strong purple colour on my eyes, that my eyes do start to water, and there's something in there. Um, the red colouring. It can have lots of different names. So if um, like cochineal, I think carmine. It's if you are wearing a fan of wearing anything like burgundy or purple eyeshadows, maybe or eyeliners or anything like that on your eyes, try and avoid that and see if that helps because I think it probably will. Um, so on to eye drops. These are what I use as a solution, but I also think it's great if you have watery eyes to use hydrating um, drops. There's all sorts. I'll put some that I use from Amazon. If you can use those regularly, that will help your watery eyes. It does seem a bit backward doesn't it you know that your eyes are watering but you need to add more water but that does help because dry eyes can cause your eyes to water um, but these are called Opticrom and these are the ones that everybody finds miraculous including me if my eyes are really watering badly I can use these and it 
it reduces the amount of water in it. it doesn't instantly like stop it all the time i have to also address the things that i'm doing to make me get watery eyes sometimes it can just be hay fever also by the way so you could take a puritan and see if that helps you know um but yeah i also have to address the preventative things but this is is instantly soothing and instantly stops the water in or reduces the water in sorry i should say um, and if it's only slightly watery and i use this it will stop it um, and i highly recommend giving it a go you can get it from amazon so that's everything that i recommend for watery eyes let us know your tips and tricks or if you've tried any of these and they've worked for you and i will speak to you again soon